I just need to know if, like, you know, if I'm... If you're making the right decisions. Yes, if I'm making the right decisions, if I'm with the right person, how do you know if this is a good man? How, you know, I don't know. I know if, like, if mom was here, she would just tell me she'd help me get out of it. I miss my mom's advice so much. I know for a fact that she would have literally pulled me out of that situation a long time ago herself. Like, and when I say literally, my mom would have grabbed me by the hand and said, let's go. Slowly but surely, especially after we moved in together, things just started getting back to what they used to be like. I told him, I'm like, I'm 31 today. Am I gonna spend another five years with you? You change for two months? I can't keep fighting this negative energy, I keep fighting it and fighting it for you, and I have to carry him. It's not, and it's, it's so exhausting, it's I'm exhausted. I feel like I've done enough. I've given all that I could, I can't anymore. When you're with the right person, it doesn't feel that way, because Mike takes care of me. I don't have to take care of him. I don't have to be extra perfect so that he can be okay. And does he take care of you emotionally? Like you Even spiritually, sometimes I'm just like, I'm just tired, I can't do this anymore. And he prays for me and he lifts me up. See, I don't have that. Like, Angel feels that I'm a provider. I pay for this, I take care of you. I'm like, but dude, you don't take care of my heart. I I think emotionally, I do deserve someone to treat me better and to value me for the woman that I am. How do I get out of a situation? Like, I just need a parent. Like, I feel like uh, I'm helping raise you guys. But you I need help need too. I completely understand Chiquis when she says that she just needs a parent. I really want to share all the good things that happened yesterday. You know, I'm going to have my dad back in my life, and that means she's going to have her dad back in her life. And I just want to tell her all the good things that, that he asked for forgiveness, that that he wants to have a relationship with her. I want to tell her that there's hope. I told him that you really love him and he cried. <sighs> yeah. I told him she really loves you, she's not mad at you. And his eyes got really watery. He says he wants to see you. Does he know when he's gonna get out, like, just, like, like his date? He served 10 years already, it's 20 more to go. He said God has me here because he needed to open my eyes to a lot of things. I think that if he has God in his life, then there's a huge possibility that he's changed. Yesterday when he, he looked at Mike in his eyes and he said, you're a good man, you know, and thank you for taking care of her, you know, like, I want that for you. And Dad said, you know, she shouldn't be afraid. So he said, I shouldn't be scared of... If it's the right person, you shouldn't be afraid. I do feel like if I give up on the relationship and I walk away, it's like I'm failing. So I do have second thoughts because I love him, there's love there. But you have to make the wise decision. And that's not always easy to do. Your mom's not here and, and we can never measure up to what she can do for you. But you're not alone, huh? Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be afraid. You let us know what you want us to do.